Zack King has dropped our jaws with almost every video he uploads. My cheekbones hurt. He's an inspiration to many of us, and at first it was easy to unravel his secrets. A simple cut could do the job, or a little masking here, a little masking there. Heck, even his infinite loops could not escape our Sherlock investigation. But Zack King took his magic to a whole new level, a new level that nobody could crack. For years, he fooled us with mind-bending visual effects, like how did he do this? There's already a car parked over there. You, you can't do that, Zack. So we went to the drawing board. Jenik drew a and we all laughed like teenagers. Oh yeah, he found a very clever and very easy way to recreate that perspective change from Zack King. I'm a skater boy. Alright, here's the setup. Put your camera onto a tripod and film your talent sitting on the floor. Important is that you have four tracking markers creating a rectangle around your talent. And these tracking markers could be anything. We used a piece of wood for instance. Next your talent walks out of the frame and you'll have someone new, me for instance, come into the shot where you pretend to walk or ride over the talent. And after that you can start moving the camera. So you either lift up the tripod and walk around or you shoot everything from a jib. And now let's get rolling. That's a wrap. Wrap it up. Wrap, wrap. What can see with a laser flip? You guys remembered when I tried to do a laser flip? That did not go well. Ah. Oh, you want to see it again? I don't know if I want to see you breaking another arm, Jordy. What I do want to see is more Zack King effects. With the right stock footage found on Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video, some masking and practical effects, we can create something in no time. In the ever-growing library of Storyblocks, you can find more than 1 million royalty-free, high-quality stock assets. They have everything you need to create even more famous videos from Zack King. Besides that, you can find stock assets in HD to 4K resolution solutions, various After Effects templates, but also templates for your Premiere Pro projects, epic music for your editing magic videos, sound effects and much more. Of course, Storyblocks doesn't only help us with the Zack King effects, they also provide us with everything we need for other VFX projects we do. Like our recent AI art video, where we use stock videos from Storyblocks to bring AI generated pictures to life. Then to top that off, you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited all access plan or you can check out the other affordable plans there's one for every need so who knows maybe you will be the next social media star if you want to know more about storyblocks and how to start downloading right away click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks com slash cynical. First step is syncing our two clips. This means making it so that our two talents collide. On top we have our sitting talent layer and beneath that our moving skating talent. And then we can prepare our optical illusion. We are going to stick our talent to the floor. So to begin look for the point where we want our effect to start. Here we can make a cut in our sitting clip. The clip on the right of that we will freeze frame, making it stand still. We will also create a mask on it. Each corner of that mask needs to sit on a tracking marker in the scene, leaving us with a rectangular mask and closing our talent. Once done masking, we will pre-compose that layer. Then we go into that pre-comp layer and make our composition smaller, removing the empty space. With this button right here called region of interest. We can resize our composition and make our comp just a little bit bigger than our masked out clip. Then we go to the composition menu on top and look for crop comp to region interest. And there we go, our composition is smaller. Now let's go back to our original composition, here we select our previously made precomp and add the corner pin effect to it. Because of the technique we will be using in a moment, we need our shot that we want to stick on the floor to be stretched to exactly the same size as our original comp. So with the added corner pin effect we can stretch our older precomposed layer to completely fill our frame. Of course this can be a little bit tricky, but once we have that we can again precompose our precomp. Aperture sent us a brand new light, this right here is the MT Pro and they asked us to do something creative with it. So I thought, 
why not stick it under my motorcycle? They're magnetic on the back so I can easily attach them underneath my bike. You get 36 individual RGB LED lights, which means that you can trace some really cool effects with them. And if you connect them to the Citus Link app, really a whole new world opens up. It's an RGB WW light, so that means tungsten and daylight is of high quality. Which so you can also use this to light out skin tones. It even comes with a grid to aim the lights better and even a little tripod stand. So check out the link in the description down below, guys, to learn more about the Aperture MT Pros. And now, now, let's wait until it's dark. Next up is the part where we make our clip stick to the floor. And this is done by tracking our shot with the movement. We select the skater clip and went to the tracker panel. Here we will do a simple track motion. However, for the track type, we're going to select the perspective corner pin. This will give us the possibility to track a certain surface on the ground with four tracking points. We place these on four tracking markers in our scene and now we can start the tracking just when the skater passed the tracking markers. Of course, keep watching the tracking as we need to intervene when necessary. Once done, we need to transfer our tracking data to our stretched pre-comp. And when we apply it to our talent, it will be sticking to our floor. And our optical illusion is done. How easy was that? Now it's just a matter of fine-tuning the details. If you have a small difference between your sitting shot and the freeze pre-comp, then you can always go back into the pre-comp. And you can fine-tune it even more to make it match better. However, for our sketch, we also have another talent riding over our optical illusion. So we have to rotoscope them and place them back over our previous made effect. And voila, the effect is done. Lorenzo, I'm gonna do a skateboard trick. So I want you to sit over there and be amazed. Let's do this. Okay, so like right here? Yeah, somewhere there, perfect. All right, here I come. <laughs> Lorenzo? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> is this real? Or is this an illusion? Am I real? Now, if you guys want to see that infinite loop effect from Zach King that we showed you guys at the beginning of this video, check out the tutorial here on my left. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.